Hey everybody, Radamon here. Thanks for tuning in to Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord, a Let's Play tutorial series. So, as you all recall, I have been in a seemingly forever war against uh, Volandia, and unfortunately sometimes Batania and, well, everybody else. Uh, what I'm doing right now is fighting Batania, but only because they took my castle and I want it back. So, yes, my greed need. Oh, and of course, Kaladog immediately escapes from my, um... Well, yes, of course. Uh, Kaladog escapes from my prison despite capturing him just moments before, because that's how these things go. Now, I do have Yanshui and uh, Trustin back in the party. I should periodically look to see if uh, Dayman is doing all right. And we also have the ability to bring in one new companion uh, because Val the Vulture died of old age at the ripe old age of 48, which to me seems ridiculous, but it's just the way it is. Uh, I was hoping for my catapults, or my trebuchets rather, to actually defeat these uh, ballista, uh, but as you can see here, they have not. They are terrible because I wouldn't mind just doing ladder siege here, given the uh, number disparity between me and them, uh, but only if they don't have siege equipment, which they seem to be able to rebuild uh, faster than I could destroy. So we are stuck in a, a long, uh, unfortunately long siege that I didn't want to get involved in. Such is the game. I do have some non-Volandians in my army, uh, but this is because I have a whole bunch of, um, I have a whole bunch of, uh, prisoners that I wouldn't be able to have capacity for otherwise. Alright, so now, they have no siege defenses, and I think what I'm gonna do is switch weapons, do a quick, uh, gear change. so that I can be a little bit more effective in this fight. Let's lead an assault. And see what kind of damage we can do. I'm gonna go full siege equipment, all trebuchets, everything. Sort of a no mercy to the Batanians that took uh, my castle from me. Now, uh, these bowmen that I'm fighting to retake at the castle, a little bit weaker than the Valandian crossbowmen that I was used to. Uh, I've been fighting Valandians for, I don't know, a few weeks now, and uh, they are a lot tougher than these Batanian bow that don't do nearly as much damage and seem to not even fire on me. I'm just standing here uncontested, which is kind of glorious. I'm taunting the whole castle. And yeah, I'm coming for you. Except for this bowman who keeps swaying back and forth. There you go, finally. Where did that come from, here? Nope. Oh, I see you. Oh, you're like a fin. He's like a hero. Well, a Fion, whatever they're called. Not anymore. Is there a new one? Hey, Battering Ram, I'm, I've been waiting for you. Wow. Slow roller, huh? Did they even have men to defend at this point? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, any towers? Okay, it looks like the uh, right tower is going to connect soonest. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's see if I can't uh, do the epic approach of uh, standing on the tower while it's moving. 
Yep, there we go. There's not enough bowmen for this to be a dangerous tactic, I don't think. You know, if the castle's full... Oh, come on now. Okay. I guess the game mechanics didn't want me climbing because it kicked me off. I didn't fall, I didn't jump, I just it bugged out. Alright, let's storm that castle. Yan Shui got knocked out, but not killed. I know you don't have that much of a view here, but the better ram just battered, so this is a foregone conclusion. It always was, given that it was a 10 to 1 ratio. And that's it. Five deaths. Only 11 knockouts, one being me. Although I didn't deserve that knockout. I was done dirty by the game mechanics shoving me off the tower. But I learned my lesson. Don't, don't climb a tower until it's stopped. All right, let's show mercy and immediately go to the tavern district and get rid of all of my prisoners that I don't care to have. Which is quite a few of them. Okay, I think we're good on prisoners. I'm gonna keep the rest to recruit from, but that is a whole heck of a lot of prisoners. Um, we'll do some trading, making sure that we make the 36,000 that we are due. Uh, another thing I might want to do is start to, uh, purchase replacement equipment for the next recruit because of the, the dead one that we had, right? Um, I haven't really found the proper armor that we've been outfitting our guys with. Do I need olives? No, I have a lot of olives. But if we go to the tavern district, uh, you can see the people up here that I might be able to recruit. Now, Val was, um, wow, there are so many. Holy moly. Val was, uh, was one of our companion warriors. Bow, one-handed. Oh, look at you, Komar the Outcast. You are um, quite skilled in all the things that we want you to be skilled in. Actually, a lot of them are. Like, Junjad the Outcast is too. Uh, maybe I should... I'll just pick through all of these guys and, and find who I, I like the best. So we're looking for one-handed bow and horse. Uh, if their personalities line up, that'd be great too. Uh, so some of them, of course, have different personalities, but these change depending on the actions that they take. Uh, whether you're merciful or merciless, etc., etc. So I will spend a second searching through these. Bow, one-handed, riding. So here is a scout, a scout athlete, but he's also cruel. Uh, and also older aged. I might want someone younger so that we don't keep losing people to uh, old age. So let me sort for age first, because most of these wanderers are, like, actually very old. And if uh, Val died at, from old age at 48, uh, all of these guys are likely to perish <laughs> as old age sets in at the ripe old age of really, really young. Um, so the outcasts here are younger, and uh, I'm just going to go with Komar. I clicked through enough of them. So hello, you are going to be paid and you're going to join me so now that we have um mr outcast here i'm going to outfit him the best i can with whatever little i have uh available to me so let's give him an azurai horse um let's see we will give you the best armor that i can afford or that they're even selling all your armor is going so enjoy your undies, but don't worry, you're not going to be in undies for long. Heavy mail, kettle helmet, that's not the best available, but it is, the other one is kind of expensive. Uh, split boots, uh, you need some sort of shoulder cover, which there's like none for sale here at this, uh, at 
this town. Oof. Well, whatever. You're at least more outfitted than you otherwise would be. Uh, in terms of weapons, give you an army sword. Uh, let's go for bows. We need something that you can wear on horseback. Here's a stacked bodkins. There. And... Uh, some sort of shield. Well, oh, that's huge. Here's a cavalry sh shield. But we're, we're going to need to give you something better later. Uh, the best possible bow would be a step bow. And you are all set for 90k. But, you know, given that I have 1.2 mil, that's fine. Okay. Well, welcome. Komar... Uh, we'll be raffled off to one of my Patreon patrons that have signed up for the Mountain Blade raffle uh, at next convenience. Really at the end of this uh, episode. And it looks behind me that we have Beastine, or whatever his name is, uh, coming in hot. Dayman's party is attacked at near Ox Hall. Alright, that must be Sylvand. I'm going to chase out this Valandian army. Um, or this Batanian army. Let's see. I would love for me to have one big old army uh, so that uh, the numbers game isn't so dangerous. Because I'm I am tired of losing companions. Oh boy, you're just going to go for it. Okay. Help knife on. Yeah, I'm not going to let him hang. Uh, before we engage this fight, let's do the gear swap again. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, I'm not at full health because of the last fight. I'm at 50. Uh, so I'm going to be armchairing a little bit compared to my normal ride in and kill all the cavalry myself. Okay, uh, doing formations. Now, uh, their army is actually not physically that far from me. Uh, we do have a bit of a hill here. Move! Infantry! Onwards! Uh, but there is quite a lot of uh, line of sight issues, I suppose. It really depends on how the enemies are positioning themselves. Oh man, they're already here. Mountain archers! Oh, soldiers! Every footman! Forward! Horsemen! Okay. Well, let's get ready for that. Okay, so our bowmen are definitely fire. Our crossbowmen, I should say, definitely already firing. I'm going to have the footman pull back a little bit and spread out. Because these guys have no issues with line of sight. As you can see, they are in full free fire. Mounted archers! I'm going to put some mounted archers on this end. As you can see, these guys don't have good line of sight. Um, I might be able to fix that. Hang on. Oh, much better. Much, much, much better. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All right. Uh, horse bowmen post up here. My companions post up here. I need to put uh, the new companion on the companion uh, list or whatever. Now, they do have riders uh, right in front. They have cavalry right in front of my cavalry, so I'm going to tell my cavalry to push. And just because I'm wounded doesn't mean I won't fight. Bye bye, Equite. All right. We have some of their people breaking through here. So I'm going to help to reinforce just a little weak spot in our infantry line. 
Not too serious. Because as you can see, the rest of them are fleeing. Telling the cavalry to rip. Let her rip. Uh, is that a vassal right there? Again, I may be wounded. Oh, nope. It might have been. Uh, Komar the Outcast just got knocked unconscious. But uh, as long as he's not dead. Hello, horse riders. Let me teach you the way of the horse. Oh, but not you. I don't like you. Who are you? I think that's a vassal. Enemy vassal that... Yeah, that's Rownal. Uh, well, he's unconscious. Alright, full charge now. Oh, hello. Tried to get me. Came really close. Alright, they're in pretty much a free-for-all flee here. Uh, so I'm just going to sweep the field now. I feel like the uh, field position that I was given with the nice hill that I had really uh, did these enemies in. And Galther just got knocked unconscious but not dead. Up in the feed. Nifon, same deal. Unconscious but not dead. It's hard to read the feed and watch what I'm fighting. Alright, so they've got uh, 170 left on the field here, but we are uh, basically overtaking their spawn position, which means any reinforcements are going to be immediately dispatched. Pretty much. Just, oh, hello. Big scythe. Ouch. Right, let me stay out of this fight briefly. Or at least use arrows. And I think that's it. There's like 23 of them left. Pretty smooth business. God, it's hard to get good shots in. <laughs> I've managed the last three times I pulled knocked down and knocked back an arrow. I managed to uh, actually shoot enemies. There we go. Only 26 dead. No one important. No one that I know the name of, which is good. Compared to their 400, so that is a unbelievable ratio uh you wow you have a big family and no wife or maybe that's your wife but either way uh you're my prisoner sven you're my prisoner too you led the army uh you are my prisoner as well everybody's a prisoner uh they gave me 27 troops that they had uh seemingly probably imprisoned or something i don't know uh but they were batanian so that's kind of strange and uh, let me recruit. And I think I'm going to cherry pick these prisoners too, just to be able to ransom them. So we have uh, about 20 something space. Not a whole lot of space. But given that I don't need the money, it's not a big deal that I don't have space. Okay, so we're maxed out. Take all that gear. All right. So one thing I need to do is go to my party here, and let's move Komar, the outcast, up to join us. And then we're going to put him on the same troop position as everybody else so that I can keep my companions safe. I have them uh, on a different number. I'm going to stop over in Sargat. Dame Man's been captured by Morkin. Okay, well, that means that uh, the fight that was going at Veriscand Castle uh, did not end well for me. 
or the entire army as you can see it all the orange text over there was uh prisoners dynastica yeah as you man my this empire is really collapsing sanala has fallen as well oh boy okay so we've just dropped off a ton of prisoners uh into what is effectively my prison because I own this town, so that kind of worked to my favor. Okay, go to the keep. Uh, go to the dungeon. Donate prisoners. It's a lot of prisoners. It's a lot of prisoners. So I'm putting all the royal prisoners that I wouldn't want to ditch in there. Oh, actually, I don't own Sargot? Okay, well, whatever. Um, I don't really care about the money, so... Back to town center. Yeah, I own, I own Jacqueline and um, Charis. I totally forgot about that. Uh, let's see if we can't um, help you out with better armor. Yeah, we'll give you that helmet. And sell... That's the same armor. I... I think everything but your shoulder pads are pretty good. Your bow could use a little work, but um, we're not in the right... Well, this bow's better. We're not in the right um, area to buy really good bows, because Volandia is not known for their bows. I've got... Got quite a lot of food, so I think I'm okay on that front. I don't have a huge variety, so it wouldn't hurt for me to... Um, Let's see. I could buy beer. And how was my grapes? I have a lot of grapes. Uh, cheese, oil, wine, meat, butter. There. Another thing I need to do is to sort of dole out uh, the troops that I have. So to Trustin. Let's cap up your army. So you've got plenty of space. And I have a lot of... Um, Batanians that need a general. Okay, that's 109 and to Yanshui. Yanshui needs them even more. Your Yanshui is uh, almost out, almost below the 40% minimum or whatever it is. Okay, so 75 should bring you. Should be a nice cushion. No one to recruit because my army just did that. That makes sense. And let's go up to Veriscan Castle. So now Damon. Damon is last seen at Ox Hall. Um, probably taken prisoner by someone. I don't know whom. Oh, here's another Batanian army. If Batania could just like go away, that'd be so fantastic. I having to kill Batanians constantly is um, well it's annoying because I'm trying to focus on Valandia but Batania is just absolutely being a nuisance uh, no one in my no one wants support for uh, a Batanian peace my worry is that one of my vassals is going to propose a Valandian peace and I won't be able to overrule it um, and that's a very real possibility help Martenios' party and attack this Batanian. At some point, I can't imagine, given all of the um, destruction of Batanian armies that I've dealt uh, recently, you know, I, I took out Kaladog's army, I took out Beastane's army, here is me taking out yet another army. I really would have a hard time believing that uh, Batania is going to have more people to throw my way. Maybe they will, maybe they will. Maybe I'll be wrong, but... I do think that there's... Uh, There might be respite on the horizon. All right, so I'm immediate. I I don't know why I keep spawning close to um, the enemy army, but we did again. So I'm getting my guys into position. I'm gonna need to adjust the uh, positioning a little bit here.
so that they can see past one another. Right, mounted archers need to get out of my way. And my companions need to get out of my way. It's getting annoying. Bowmen have a little bit of a height, so there should be some uh, line of sight there. Seems to be working. Seems to be plenty of arrows fired. Must be really armored. Because I hit you and only did 50. Oh, no, he's just a scout. Must have been a glancing. Stop stabbing my mount. Sending in my horseman now. Clean up the remnants. Get over here. Oh, clunk. Keep blocking. Not gonna work forever. He's pretty good at juking my shots. Every time I fire, he like changes direction. Oh, yeah, he's dead now. Good duel, sir. Good duel. Ooh. That javelin hurt a lot. Gotta be careful about that. Oh, he's still throwing them at me. Even though this whole group seems to be fleeing. Good on you for not giving up. Alright, well, I'm in the crosshairs of uh, bow fire, so let me get out of here. Alright, full full charge now. They are overrun, clearly, so. No more slow stuff. It may cause more death than I need to, but it is a way to get through these fights more quickly as well, so there's a case to be made that is, in the end, more efficient. Oops, sorry, Corsair. And I think the remaining troops are fleeing. Yep, they're down to 20s. And it's a pretty incredibly good ratio there, 10 to 300 or so. No complaint for me. There we go. Uh, that is one of theirs, I think. What is your name? Ragged? Yep, that was an enemy uh, vassal. And Amon and the Embers, even though you're mercenary, you're my prisoner too. Uh, we did take on some new... Uh, some new troops. I'm not going to have room for all these prisoners. So let me ditch a whole bunch of the lobies. How am I doing now? I'm still over capacity. Still? Yeah. Oh, I have to get rid of basically all the prisoners that I took in.
Okay, we're fine now. And that's one less Batanian army. So, with any luck, which is a joke when I say it, with any luck, um, I get some risp respite from Batani and I can focus back on Valania, which I'm hoping to be able to do. Uh, looks like everybody that was just captured got uh, ransomed, uh, which means that I might have a chance to pick up uh, Dayman again, wherever Dayman is. But I'm going to ransom off some prisoners first. And give whoever owns Sargot a, uh, an extra one. All right, so where is Dayman then? Last seen at Oxhall. Maybe he didn't also get freed. So I'm going to ride towards Oxhall now. So you don't get to keep my companion. Oh, but uh, Ekerind is at Jacqueline. And I am close, so I'm going to hop on over there. Getting very tired of uh, the constant sieges. And again, before anyone suggests, well, just put a uh, garrison there. I don't really have the spare troops. I don't have enough troops to spare 500 to a garrison that would leave me, Trustin, and uh, uh, Yanchwe with zero troops. So that's just not a reasonable suggestion. Despite how many times it is made. All right, army stomping. Let's help Sachanis. And uh, I don't know. I mean, this might be an entire episode of me just smushing armies over and over and over. Because I don't seem to be able to make any headway uh, doing anything but army fights. So I'm going to use the hill here to benefit my archer's line of sight. Let's just stack them up here. And put footmen here. Okay, we'll be in position in just a second. They're doing the same thing. They're trying to put themselves up on a hill. Unfortunately, I outnumber them uh, just about four to one. So in terms of the bolt Archers, fight, infantry! I will win. Shield wall, no! Mounted movement! All right, here they come. They're committing to the fight. Good on them. Now these are Valandians, so there is in this mix going to be some um, Lancers that have caused me some grief in the past. But here's uh, Radan or whatever his name is. He's knocked unconscious. Any vassal I can go after. Works for me. Oh, were you trying for me? Ekerind! Ah, oh, you're the leader. Well, you're unconscious too. And Jassid of the Jarwal, or Jawal, unconscious as well. Tell my cavalry to push now that there's just a cleanup. Oh, except for you. Who are you? Uh, I think that was just a troop I'm not used to seeing. I don't think it was a vassal or anything. Hello, Caravanguard. Oh, wow, that was bad luck. <laughs> Right in front of my bow, right as I release. 
friendly kill for me. Although I can't say I'm to blame so much for that one. That was pretty unavoidable. Wow, look at the amount of arrows that was in that Spearman's shield. All these shields. I guess they're probably bolts, not arrows. They could be arrows. And yes, no mercy. I have enough prisoners, I think. guy real good oh here come oh got that warm out here comes the response I'm out of arrows so out quit it all right let's go after their mounted units that's what I'm good at play to your strengths right little infantry keep swiping at my knees and it cost me I'm unconscious all right let's uh zoom out and just watch the blue wave it's like one amoeba swallowing the other and that's it 13 died on my side and 349 on theirs outnumbering them significantly is definitely a good strategy to minimize loss and Ekerin, the leader of that army, taken prisoner by me. It gives me troops. It gives me prisoners. Um, I am going to take higher level prisoners. So what I'm going to do is uh, ditch all the tier 3s and then cherry pick from the tier 4s. Actually, let me reset that. Um, because I think there's not going to be a lot of tier 4s in their army that are recruitable. There's, no, there's none. Because these are caravan guys that I don't really want. Okay, well, in that case, uh, I will pick from the very few that I would want to recruit for myself, at least. Oops. There, done. All right, well, that's one less raider on my flank. I do think I'm gonna turn around and uh, go to Jacqueline, which means that uh, Yan Shui and, uh, yeah, they're gonna be donating a whole bunch of uh, troops. Not my favorite game mechanic, as I've grumbled about that quite enough that I don't think I need to grumble to you anymore. All right, let's, uh, let's get rid of Pikeman, forget that. These militia, forget that. All these guys, forget it. I'm trying to reduce my total number of prisoners so that it's more reasonable. Uh, key dungeon. Look at all them. Enjoy. Hope you all rot. Uh, trade. And if there's anything to buy my little outcast here, no, there really isn't. Okay, now that I have... Um, oh, but before I do that... We have also got... Keep, Garrison... Take a 117. Yes, I am emptying out the Garrison. I know what that means. Uh, but I would love to fill Yanshui and uh, Trustin's armies up as that would provide a very significant benefit for me because then I would be able to release uh, a lot of the lords that are currently in my army from conscription so that they can go fight as they see fit. I added too many, though. Still too many. 
Okay. Uh, 130. Okay. Uh, just a few more. Yeah, done. So Yan Shui now has a full regimen. Cannot have space for any more without defection. And Trustin, I hope to do the same for you. I think I have the people for it. Well, maybe not, actually. Not ones I'm willing to depart with. Yeah. That got you... Well, that didn't even get you that close. Trustin has a huge capacity. Uh, all right. So we now have an army of about 2k. Gonna have to make sure to keep my cohesion up. There's a bunch of uh, Valandian individuals uh, lurking. In fact, you know what I might do? Uh, Milos and then Galther. Uh, Aronox, rather. Um, I'm gonna release you guys. I don't need such a large army. And hopefully you'll have, you'll chase them down and you'll, you'll police the area. I think, yeah, I think they'll catch him. Yeah, they caught him indeed. In fact, they caught him and I can help. <laughs> uh, Making peace with Azurai just got proposed. I'm happy to agree to that. Although I don't think that uh, the peace agreement will last very long. Okay, so here is a drool. You know what? Everyone just charge. They don't have enough people for me to even be tactful about this fight. They have 33. I could probably, on a good day, kill all of them myself. You not know how to poke? There you go. Come on. Poke. I give you a chance. Stop hitting my horse. Uh, this is just a meat grinder. Oops. You know, I'm just not even gonna use anything but melee because melee doesn't have friendly fire just bolts do range does No space to even swing. I don't even know. Oh, they're trying to kill that guy. I was like, who are they even swinging on? I can't even see an enemy. Yeah, this is indeed about as one-sided as one can get. No surprise. With the numbers we were rocking. We're down to... Well, we haven't even had anyone wounded or killed. Yeah, it was 100% just a slaughter. Works for me. One less uh, stupid uh, lurking idiot. We'll take... I'm going to leave the forest bandit. We're going to take all the prisoners. And then... The peace with Azurai. Uh, I'm sure everybody wants it, so I'm not going to overrule it. I don't have a ton of time to make inroads on Valandia before I suspect they'll propose peace. Oh, you guys can't go anywhere. I think this is a dead end. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. So... Here's what I wanted to do. Actually... They're not in army. All right, so he is just a gilman. Uh, but Els, you are. Oh no, you're not in a position to uh, join me either. So you both have to die. I'm sorry. So this entire episode will be just me fighting 
me fighting enemies on horseback. And unfortunately, this is a village fight, which I don't particularly like because the terrain for the village fights are kind of weird and very difficult to, like, it's not designed for the numbers that we have. So I'm essentially just planning on using my bowmen here. I'm just putting my bowmen up and forward. All right, that's uh, the mercenary. He's unconscious by my blade. I will be the singular infantry keeping the uh, horses at bay. I'm happy to, to play that role. Not playing it all that well, but no, this is just a ghoul. He's unconscious ghoul. Got him. Are you L's? You must be L's. Leave her to me. Got her. <laughs> and now the rest of them, I'm just going to watch my crossbowmen shred. Here. My companions can join me, though. Did you just shoot at me? Yeah, it was a mistake. So he's starting to respawn on top of all my companions, which I don't like. But I sent everyone charging, so be over in just a sec. No. Nothing like harvesting some wheat in the fields, right, guys? Hundred percent enemy casualties. That's how we like it. Totally unbalanced. All right, give me your troops, and uh, most of these guys are Valandian, so I'm gonna cherry pick. Not even cherry pick. I'm basically just taking them all. I'll even take the recruits and calves. Good. Bye bye, Gulam and looters. I don't care. And that's all the time I have. Oh, I didn't mean to go to banner editor. Uh, so uh, that was a lot of wars back to back to back to back. If we take a look at diplomacy, um, I've inflicted 18,000 casualties and 16,000 casualties. Uh, this, I am probably responsible for the vast, vast, vast majority of the positive casualty rate on Batania and Volandia. That's all we did this episode. I do hope to be able to launch some raids on Volandia now that I feel like I've cut down a significant amount of their armies and maybe gained respite from Batania. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you next episode. Farewell, everybody.